All right, man. So you have had the D5 now for a couple weeks. I have. Why don't you give me your initial thoughts, your feelings on it? What are you liking? What are you not liking? Do a quick impromptu little Ooh, interview here. That's uh, interesting and tough. Um, I have been disappointed with the... Damn it, Steve. Start with the positive. Start with the positive. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it does 30 miles to the gallon. Uh, which is diesel. outstanding. Okay. Uh, love the diesel for that. Uh, lots of torque. Um, much, much more controllable on the throttle than the Defender was. This was mm -hmm. always my concern with the Defender was this lack of sensitivity in the throttle and lack right. of controllability. Something like this would have been a nightmare because uh, it's got all that power, lots of torque, but mm -hmm. it does it will just lack that ability to control it with the foot, and it was it was a bit of a drama really. Um, the, uh, what were you going to say about what you didn't, what you don't like, or, or, or? I am a bit disappointed that the uh, the diesel engine didn't have a little bit more engine braking, as we discussed. <laughs> as, yeah, as, I seem to have a lot more. Com yeah. is it compression that would? No, it's not compression. It's displacement, I don't think, because uh -huh. diesels definitely have more compression. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But yours has more displacement, five liters versus three liters. Uh, so you've just got more... Yeah, the squish. braking on mine, I was... Yeah, much better, yeah. And interestingly, yours went back up the hill uh, and up the hill, skipping a little less than mine. So I don't know whether that had something to do with the way your suspension is balanced. Or, or could it tires. be wheelbase? Um, like, I don't know how different know you and me are. No, but I that, because I could just be hitting at it at the sweet spot where you were just hitting it, you know... Yeah, just that little bit just off. Just a little yeah, bit I don't off. Know we should look that up. That um, would be something, because... The Defender were on the rocks the other day, yesterday. Yeah. Um, my wheel, my rear wheel, couldn't even, it didn't even hit the, the rear rock where the yeah. Defender, so exactly. it was almost yeah, a yeah, foot yeah. difference between the wheelbase on mine and the, yeah. Even that the, the Alex was even surprised with that. He's like, I didn't realize it was that different. Well, the Defenders have a very long wheelbase. And of course, the reason they did that was to shove the wheels to the front and the back yeah. for approach and departure angle. Um, this has a smaller wheelbase. Uh, mm -hmm. than the Defender, certainly. I, I can't tell you what it is now without the chart. Yeah. But, um, but you might just have been like, where we skipped up there, you yep. only needed to be a couple of inches out. Right. And my wheel definitely lifted more than uh, more than yours did. We've got a, did we've got it? I haven't seen the video yet, well, but yeah, I'll put some video up Dan of that took right some now. footage of that, I think. Yeah. Um, and um, what else do I like? I do like the controllability. I, it does skip a little bit more than I expected it to. Skip in what in uh, the suspension? Yeah, I've just been recording a bit of a uh, piece to camera for that myself, and like Richard noted with his when he had it in the race suspension and in mud ruts, it's almost as if it was too tight. And when one wheel spun out a little bit because there was less, um, because there was less traction, uh, it's almost like it forces the back wheel to spin out as well a bit. It sort of skips a touch as it. From, um, from lump to lump. This did that as well. I've just been up again, as you probably noted. Um, yeah. And uh, it skipped. I, I, I forced it into D1 instead of D2. Okay. Uh, which made it skip less. But I think what happens is because it is so steep and the ground is so loose, when you do get just that little bit of natural wheel spin because of all the shale yeah. and stuff, what you get is a a momentary loss of forward momentum and and your traction is then on your other three wheels and well, that mm -hmm. sort of overloads it a bit on the shear plane if you see what i mean so and we so the whole day you were in grass gravel snow yeah you i didn't... did try mud ruts on the way down one of the things uh because generally speaking mud ruts locks everything up a bit more but grass gravel and snow here seem to be better yeah uh and as we've tried we use the ill descent control as well as no ill descent yeah. control and we found that on this ground ill, ill descent, descent control yeah, yeah, better. yeah it reduced my speed by about half yes yeah, so i would agree with that even more on mine yeah uh, i mean you had the benefit of a bit more compression a bit more yeah a bit more um displacement but on mine uh i was coming down there at three times the speed of hdc on so yeah. that was 
Um, I do like the visibility uh, out of this, the control thing. I think this is a little bit better than even the Defenders, and I mentioned this in one of my other videos. There's just something about this that's a little bit more intuitive somehow. Um, not really the off-road screen, but just... Just really, see, now I've definitely found Pivi Pro, the few times I've, I've had them in loaners, it, it, there's things that I'm like, oh, this does that, that I wish this uh, did, um, yeah. did yeah. right? Um, of course, I haven't had a chance to use it yeah, yeah, more yeah. than, you know, a few weeks at a time, think, but. I think the off-road functionality on Pivi Pro is a little bit better because it sort of blends everything more nicely. Here, right now, I've got my inclinometers and I add the inclinometers at the same time as my axle information yeah, on Pivi. Yeah, I, I wish I, yeah, exactly. And that's one of the things I wish we had on, on this Yeah, one. so that was nicer. But I've also got my axle information right here in front, which sort of made a bit yeah. of a difference. Or why don't, on on um, the heads-up display, I wish it shows you the degree you're tipping, but it doesn't actually show you the number degree. It just shows you. Yeah, yeah, a figure would be nice. Yeah. And there's space for it, isn't there, on those little... Is there? Lines. Is that showing right now? It is. Yeah. Could you? I could. Yeah. yeah just, uh, just let kind me of show them. So, um, so like Emika was showing here, uh, and I'll zoom in so you can see better. Actually, so it doesn't focus on the. Uh, now you can see right at the side it's flashing because it's LED, but right at the side of the inclinometer, uh, there's a bit of a space, and it would be nice if we had the degree of tilt there. Now do notice if you can. On the left hand picture on the side of my wheels is is the car going uphill and that's because i am going uphill a bit but if you notice down here for some reason or other seem to be going downhill instead of uphill i've noticed that on my which too. is a bit of a problem going, i was going uphill but it said it said i was going downhill, downhill. yeah so, so that's I, on yours too yeah so i wonder if that's a glitch in their latest um software might, update yeah, it be. because it used to point up oh, so it did. Right. it did yeah no it did so i think updated? uh well i just spent two and a half weeks at the dealership and they were doing full updates and everything right. so i have a feeling that just might be a software um yeah because yeah, yeah. uh, it yeah, i noticed software. that when i was going up i was like it's pointing in the wrong, wrong direction, direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i've only just noticed that but you're right so it goes yeah that's the thing. Um, I mean, I do like this uh, information, but we have that on, you, you know, you have that on, on Pivy as well. Uh, and then you can have this information for your axles and lock, locks as well. Uh, so I suppose in some respect, having that here and then having your axles here is 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 yeah. usable. But I think I did prefer the Pivy for that. Yeah. Out, of, out of the four-wheel drive thing, I think I prefer this because it just seems, for some reason or other, things seem to be a bit more... In the right place. I think it's because I like touching the stuff at the bottom rather than, um, yeah, the defenders. I, I was not a fan of the. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I wasn't a fan of that. Like it's, system, so. It's, yeah, so I think you know I'm I, I'm happy with it. I'm certainly happy with the thirty something miles to the gallon, which is very good. Um, and so you've. This is a this is a problem that happens everywhere. You've always got to slide the problem under the rug somewhere. Right. And sometimes the you know you slide it to one end and sometimes slide it to the other and by what i'm saying is uh, this is more economical by far than the defender it also doesn't surge and it also doesn't have all of right. the tps issues but let's imagine it was a a right defender yeah. like you know it's this bigger boot um yeah seats aren't quite as comfortable better fuel economy pivy pro is both better and less good in certain right. circumstances um Roof rack and uh, extras are better, I think, on the Defender. Um, but, you know, there's a bit nicer of a layout here. Uh, this, I think, is a bit quieter than the Defender. And um, that would make sense, yeah, right? Uh, it's certainly warmer. I've camped in this. You know this. I've yeah. been camping the past couple of days. And despite all this glass, uh, this has been a good... Uh, a good five or ten degrees warmer than the defender was Isn't which that is interesting. interesting so that must just be with the insulation and, and yeah everything. yeah padding maybe quieting yeah. you know um, yeah so uh this is clearly not as good off-road i wouldn't have said to a to a new defender but mine was problematic so i i'm trying hard to not really compare the mine yeah, and this because yeah it was you i know i got problems off. with mine yeah 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 I, i've also noticed that I don't think these Coopers are as good as I thought these Coopers was. What, uh, 
just some traction or is yeah, it yeah i noticed that you're running winter tires and on this terrain you you do a little better and i think oh well, yeah i just I, I would just give credit to the driver there <laughs> <laughs> well i mean that could be a factor of course. But, um i i think i mean this i think i think richard suffers uh, as well, Richard's got Duratrax on his, right. and I think his suffers here because they're a little bit too aggressive for this, so they're, they're literally picking gravel up and spooting it about because yeah. that's what they're meant to do. Um, whereas yours sort of just it doesn't scooch as much about, you know, a bit as a softer compound, and so I think that made a difference. Um, I'm at uh, what am I? I think at 40 psi. I don't know what. Uh, I am not at 40 psi. I think I am lower than that, to be honest. Um, I will tell you in a second. Tire pressures. I think I am. Whatever the 2.3 bar is. Sorry, 2.4 bar. I clearly haven't said yeah, this think, ever. I think. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. 2.4 bar and 2.5 bar is what I'm showing here. Uh, I wonder how I change the units and then I'll. Out what the go to the main one where uh, you do units, yep, right there. there. You go. Uh, I've just had a reset on this as well, so and that's possibly why my uh, inclinometer thing has gone out to lunch as well. Now, where were we? Tires, there we are. 35 in the front and 36 in the back. Oh. So a little lower pressure than you. But completely different tires, so that'll change the, everything. Yeah, I mean, one of the interesting things to note is Richard's got 25,000 kilometers on his Dura track, and he's got, um, he's got 11, 30 seconds of tread left. I've got 70,000 kilometers on these, and I've got 11, 30 seconds of tread left. So mine are obviously a lot harder in the sense that they've done three times the miles that wow, Richard's huh? have, and they've not worn as much. The downside, this again, is the sweeping under the rug problem, is that the harder the compound, the less good it is in, 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 this, in this sort of terrain, yeah. and the less good it is in snow and ice, and, and so on and so forth. Right. So, you, you know, you're sweeping, yeah, it's better on the road, it lasts longest, I've got much more road wear out of it, but much less... Mm -hmm. In terms of grip, I think so. All uh, right. I think a set of tires tie is, is going to be my probably my next <laughs> move. Well, what do you say we grab some food now? Yeah, food's good. Food and a is, pint. is good. All right, thanks. Thank you.